Hey guys, welcome back to the channel techbeast.org. So uh, this is the part two of our Modbus uh, section. Okay. So in case if you have missed our part one, so which uh, clearly explains uh, what is Modbus and what is function code, what is uh, what are the registers and uh, what are the type of register uh, types of register used in modverse and all those things we have covered in part one uh, in case if you have missed uh, the link i have given it in the description uh, you can take a look so that you will get a clear understand about what we are going to do uh, really uh, in hands-on in this video okay so uh, basically this is a part two as i said and what we will do uh, here is we will read and write data to our modbus slaves okay so you can uh, use this uh, concept to uh, do or build any uh, kind of iot applications uh, in real time uh, using your modbus sensors or however you uh, wish to uh, uh, build applications using this modbus so basically this is our setup okay so uh, we will use uh, diac slave it's a free uh, software which you can run in your raspberry pi which you can run in your windows or what are the machines you have you can run it and simulate a mod per slave so you can basically run the software in uh, let's say you have more than uh, 510 raspberry pis it will be really good you can run it at the same software in different raspberry pis to really uh, uh, simulate a real modbus uh, uh, environment with a lot of slaves in it okay so uh, we will use uh, uh, port 502 which is the default port of modbus and our raspberry pi uh, pi's modbus slave uh, will be exposed the connection will be exposed on port number 502 so the client can connect to it to uh, read and uh, write the data from the holding registers okay so then we will write some random values as i said to the holding registers uh, using pi modbus pi modbus is uh, nothing but a python module okay so we'll be using it's it's very uh, matured uh, python uh, module i personally uh, like this model a lot okay so uh, so it's it's really a mature module. You can a lot of uh, community support is there. Uh, you can you can check the uh, module. Uh, okay you can just uh, simply just by running pip install pi modbus you can able to install this module in your uh, machine and which you can uh, use uh, to read and write uh, uh, data from the registers okay then we will write a simple uh, python program which will frequently read the data from the holding registers uh, where we will specify uh, the number of registers which register uh, we are storing the data and how many registers we want to read all these information we will uh, specify and read the data okay so let's get our hand at you know so just go to google and type pi, board, uh, pi modbus uh, you can uh, uh, go to its website and this is the pi modbus is the module as i said we will be uh, using to read and write uh, the data to our holding registers okay so the documentation is uh, pretty clear okay so we'll be using this uh, read holding registers uh, function to read and write uh, to read the uh, data from the registers and we'll be using um, write registers uh, we'll be using this write registers to write the data to uh, our uh, uh, master i mean raspberry pi which is a uh, which is our modbus slave okay so uh, as i said uh, diac slave to download this uh, diac slave uh, modbus slave you can just go to the website uh, modbusdriver.com slash diac slave dot html okay so you can uh, download the uh, uh, zip file okay so for windows you can download this and for uh, linux you can download this uh, this folder okay so uh, no, no need to worry i'll just give all these websites in uh, the description which you can uh, click and uh, you can use it okay so you need to unzip this in your raspberry pi and all you uh, just with one, uh, um, one one command we can start our uh, uh, the tcp uh, modbus a slave uh, tcp server okay so uh, then uh, just log on to github.com slash techbeast dash org slash modbus dash tcp so this is a folder uh, path okay so where i have uh, given you the program to uh, read and write the registers okay so i will explain uh, one by one how this code is functioning how it's reading the data how it's writing the data and all those things we will uh, see in a while okay okay so i have logged into my raspberry pi as an initial step we are going to install a uh, dax slave in our uh, raspberry pi to uh, make it as a uh, modbus slave okay so in order to do that what you need to do is just uh, go to this website as i said just right click and uh, copy the link address then just go to uh, your raspberry pi and just uh hit the command uh, wget and you can just paste the link okay so what this will do is it will just uh, download the dax slave in uh, in your uh, raspberry pi then all you need is uh, just extract it okay just by running the command uh, tar dat uh, uh, xrdf and by putting uh, dax slave dot uh, tgs it will extract uh, the uh, 
contents to your uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I have already extracted here. Okay, so I have already extracted here. So then what you can do is uh, uh, just uh, go to the folder. Okay, so you will see different flavors. Okay, different flavors of uh, your operating system here. So whatever the operating system is uh, something which you wish to uh, run the software, you can choose that and you can run it. Okay, so in our case, it's ARM. Our Raspberry Pi is basically an ARM based uh, uh, processor, right? So all you need to do is just go to um base processor just uh, you can see a executable file here it's a diac slave okay so what you can do now is just to, to start a diac slave server you can just type sudo dot slash okay uh, diac slave and you can specify the uh, protocol so we are using a tcp protocol modbus tcp then uh, the port number uh, it's 502 if you don't specify it will take default 502 if you want to use any other port you can specify okay i just want to um, leave as it is okay i I'll, i'm comfortable with uh, uh, using this uh, port number 502 okay so uh, let me just uh, just press enter and you'll see here server startup uh, successfully the protocol is a modbus tcp okay the ip configuration the its port number is 502 and all those details you can see here so now you can see uh, my uh, modbus slave has already been uh, started and it's listening for connections okay so now let's uh, write some data to this uh, modbus slave okay so in order to do that uh, just go to this uh, website uh, download the repository okay so just download the repository to your laptop okay uh, let uh, just keep your raspberry pi aside and let your modbus slave run on it you can use if you have windows or uh, mac or whatever is fine just use your uh, uh, laptop you can just uh, clone this repository to your laptop okay so i have already cloned it here and this is the uh, uh, these are the files okay so i already, already cloned it here under modbus tcp so you can see there are uh, two files one is uh, modbus write register and modbus read register okay so currently our modbus slave does not have any data inside it okay because we just started uh, the server and as an initial step uh, we can write some data okay so in order to write the data so here what um, what's happening here is we have imported the module as i said we are using pi modbus here okay so we have imported the module okay and i have imported some um, uh, necessary modules because we are going to generate a uh, random data and we are going to uh, insert it and we are going to write it to the holding register so i'll just import the module import and all these time date time is i'll uh, use in read registers uh, for writing we really don't need it okay so then here you can specify your host and the port in my case my raspberry pi is running on uh, ip address 192.168.18.20 okay it's a local network so you can uh, just check your raspberry pi's ip address you can just put it the port my modbus slave is exposed is on 502 as i said okay so it's here then uh, i'm going to uh, create a connection here okay so i'm just creating a modbus client connection okay while the conditions are true just uh, connect to the client and uh, the, i'm going to uh, i'm just created a variable data with uh, which will have a random uh, numbers which is between 25 and 35 okay so then uh, i'm gonna do uh, i'm going to create a function wr which means just a write register for my understanding so i'm using the function uh, write underscore registers okay which i just showed you in the documentation okay so client dot write underscore registers will write the data to your modbus slave okay so here uh, the first uh, argument you need to pass is the is the starting reference of your register number then second is if you don't specify uh, if you just specify one value it will take the uh, uh, take only one register for example your starting reference is 1000 and my data let's say it's 25 okay so you'll you will inst this will write the data to the value uh, the register number 1001 okay so if you put uh, an array and you put two values which is 25 comma 26 so 25 will be uh, inserted into uh, 1001 and 26 will be inserted into the register 1002 okay so uh, that's how this uh, a sequence you have to understand so you can read and write uh, data to the uh, modbus slave so unit is one okay because my uh, slave id here you can see here is uh, one okay so the this is a slave id is one and uh, let me just uh, I'm going to insert the data every five seconds. Okay, so let me just straight away run it for you guys. So I uh, run without debugging. Okay, so I have started this uh, script and when I check my Modbus slave, you can see here my slave ID one 
okay the values are written uh, in in my modbus slave okay you can see here 1001 is the register number and one references so every 5 seconds okay we are uh, inserting a random number okay uh, to our modbus slave register okay 1001 register okay so um, it's pretty cool right so now you can uh, so now our modbus slave have a register table inside it okay uh, now we can uh, read the holding registers okay so in order to read the holding register uh, let me just split the uh, pane vertically uh, to show you guys uh, the data so uh, reading register is also pretty straightforward we are using the same pi modbus module okay i have imported the module json because i want the data in a json format so which is widely used in ras uh, iot uh, nowadays okay so uh, same uh, process okay so i have just uh, defined a function for the current time which will always return the current time okay so then uh, host you can just declare the host port and you can just connect to the modbus and the function read holding registers will read the data okay so now here my starting reference is 1001 so which means 1000 1001th value it will uh, read okay so basically uh, the registers this rr will rr dot registers will return a list okay uh, in case if you want to uh, get individual value you need to specify the array so in my case it's just uh, only one value right so i'll just uh, uh read the first value which is a zero okay so now i'm just converting it, it into a, a json uh, so i'll just j uh, print the json dot dumps of data so you can see what data uh, we are uh, reading from the register okay and i'm also reading it every five seconds okay so let me run this uh, program okay let me just save it okay let me just go to my command okay i'll move to the folder Okay, it's in my personal base.org IoT industry 4.0. Okay, it's inside this folder. Okay, under Modbus TCP. Okay, fine. So let me run this Python 3 and Modbus read register. Okay, Modbus read register.py. Perfect. Okay. So you can see here the moment i uh, run this program you can see here accepting connection from 192.18.6 okay which is my mac so here slave one you can see read holding register 1001 second we are also parallelly running we are also writing the data to the holding register so write holding register from uh, 1001 so you will see it because every five seconds we are writing and every five seconds we are reading it so you can see the data coming in 25 25 32 32 28 32 okay so all these are random datas which we are uh reading from the modbus register okay so this is pretty cool right so data is in json format okay so now you can store it in database okay so then you can use that uh, to um, perform some analysis or you can even build a prediction model okay so just imagine you are developing a industry 4.0 application where you want to do a predictive maintenance okay so so these kind of uh, and all your sensors whatever data right it it will be most probably it will be in uh, modbus or uh, bagnet so if it is a modbus it's uh, really pretty cool you can use this pi modbus and you can uh, read the holding registers so you need to uh, discuss with your vendors okay so basically they they uh, they are the one who know okay what registers and uh, what registers is containing what data and you can uh, check the documentation sheet to understand it more clearly then you can just specify the register address here okay so here thousand is my uh, register number okay register address i am just uh, specifying it and i'm reading it so you can specify more okay so now let me just show you how you can uh, write uh, uh more than one data okay so here uh, let me just stop the script for a while okay so now uh, let me just uh, write more more data for you so i have already uh, uh, commented the script so you can just uh, take a look at it so just uncomment it and all you need is um, just uh, run okay i have uh, declared a list here okay so then uh, now i'm going to insert uh, the data for 10 registers okay so which is from 1001 to 1010 okay so what i'm going to do now is uh, client dot register 1000 comma list this uh, list will contains uh, it's a array of uh, a random data which is between 25 comma 35 and same i'm going to write to my slave unit one every five seconds okay so let me just uh, start the script so as you can see here uh, 
we are just uh, writing the values you can see here last time it was showing one references because we were inserting one data so now we are inserting now we are writing uh, 10 data to the holding register so you can see 10 references so now the read holding register script we need to uh, modify a little bit okay so here what you're gonna do is uh, you can specify uh, we are specify one here now you are going to read 10 data okay and here we don't want to particularly read zero we just want to read all the array of data okay so uh, just uh, save it and you can execute uh, your uh, modbus read register here okay so pretty cool right you can see the date time every five seconds the data we are reading and you can see one two three four five six and ten uh, data in your um, data in the list okay so these are all the datas in uh, each register so 1001 1002 1003 to all the way okay so like this you can specify whichever the register you want you can specify and you can read the number of datas um, uh, available and as per your requirement so thanks for watching guys i hope you guys would have understood clearly about uh, uh, modbus protocol and what is happening behind the uh, protocol okay so just grab a raspberry pi uh, just uh, run a modbus slave start reading and writing the data okay so the real way to learn uh, whatever is just get your hands dirty okay so please subscribe to the channel share with your friends okay please do share your comments uh, i'd be really glad to hear from you guys okay so thank you thanks for watching let's make technology easy peasy for everyone